My name is Markus Närhi. I am the CEO of a company called Kuletus Rinki. Uh, basically, we are in the waste handling business. We offer our clients transportation services. We collect different kinds of waste materials uh, from the southern part of Finland. We transport the waste with our low emission vehicles and then we transport the waste to our uh, waste management site here in, in Tattaris or Helsinki that we uh, handle and, and sort out the, the waste. Before the heavy picker robots who were doing the waste handling services uh, quite manually with the appropriate machinery of course. But it was more slow, it wasn't that precise that we were doing and we weren't that happy to the end results of the materials that we sorted out. And uh, we thought about this uh, new equipment and new technology and we're really excited to have this kind of technology here in Helsinki, Tattarisua. The heavy picker robots have improved, especially the end part of this process, the sorting outcome of this process. Um, we know now that especially the robots can pick really uh, specifically and, and really small and also really big parts like uh, different kind of wooden materials, metals, cardboard, plastics and we're really happy about it. Yeah, the heavy picker robots are uh, they're faster, they're more precise compared to uh, doing the sorting manually with relevant machinery. Uh, and of course there's the possibility for around-the-clock process. Uh, machines doing their work also in the late evening and even in, in the night time. So in that way, of course, it enhances our productivity quite a lot. About the accuracy, so the cameras and the identification of the different materials coming to the sorting line, it's, it's really high-tech stuff, so, so we are really uh, positive about the, the, the way that the machines, the, the cameras, identify the different materials. So compared to human eye, that's a really big step up. Uh, about the speed, of course, compared to manual uh, sorting, the robots are faster and they can pick up larger uh, objects, also smaller objects, so the accuracy part comes also in there. And the cost effectiveness, so the robots know when they have to make decisions about the size of the different particles, they know which particle is more uh, valuable and they can collect that and, and sort that out. So, so that's of course one way to enhance our cost effectiveness. When our guys, when the workers here, uh, the less they have to manually sort out or handle different kind of materials, the better. And the robots have really gave us an answer about that. So. Uh, we feel that the, the, the safe, safe habits in the, in the, in the uh, site has really gone up, so, so the robots are more safe. We have these shields around the robots, so people don't, won't go in the lines. And we have all the need we've, we've uh, needed from Zen Robotics professionals. They've uh, given us the support that we wanted and needed, and everything has gone really smoothly and, 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 and good. Already it shows us that we have uh, transported less materials to incineration and more materials to cycle. And, and that's a really positive side of this and the, one of the main goals of this investment. Uh, but of course, we consider ourselves as an enabler. So we have the technology now to feed the manufacturing industry in Finland with the raw material that they need.